Let's go. Good afternoon, gentlemen and women of the press. You are, uh, as usual, in the last uh, few hours, I have been inundated. We want to congratulate you for the Congress. Every one of us, as a law abiding Nigerian, must be part of. Thank you very much. And all of that. Now, if we are operating as a responsible security organization and someone is calling for revolution in Nigeria, and what is revolution? Primarily, it means a revolt, it means an insurrection, it means insurgency, it means forceful takeover of government. And this is a democracy. Nigeria oppresses a democratic system. Nigeria, we all are aware, is not a banana republic and cannot suddenly be made one. Nigeria is respected in the Committee of Nations. Nigeria is not just the giant of Africa, but the pride of Africa. So the DSS would not just sit by and watch someone or his uh, groups or cohorts would want to rise and uh, threaten the peace, unity, constitutionalism of uh, our beloved country. Whether Shore is with the DSS or not, the answer is emphatic, is in the affirmative, yes, he's with us. And why is he with us? He has crossed the lines. He has threatened public safety. Shore has, as a matter of fact, threatened the peaceful coexistence, social harmony of uh, Nigeria. And uh, there is apprehension, there is anxiety. Citizens, residents are worried as to what will happen next. And in fact, we want to use this opportunity to assure law-abiding Nigerians, friends of Nigeria, citizens of the world, and indeed people of the world, that come tomorrow, 5th of August, 2019, that there will be absolute peace in Nigeria. Nothing will happen. There won't be any revolution. The government has been elected democratically, will be in place. And uh, there will not be any forceful takeover of government. And the DSS will not idle by, stand by, and watch people, you know, self-serving people, take laws into their hands. We will do all that is within the law to discharge our responsibility and ensure that there is a peace in Nigeria beyond tomorrow. Um, in a democracy, one of the highlights of democratic governance is periodic elections. If any person who had contested an election um, didn't succeed, all you need to do is to go back, rework your system and strategies and indeed wait for another election. You cannot, in the middle of, a, a, you know, shortly after an election, begin election in which one had participated. But I would not want to make comments about political issues. I want to limit the DSS to issues that concern public safety, to issues that concern our statutory mandate, to issues that has the constitution that has enabled us to ensure and protect the internal security of Nigeria. Whether we will do that, it is not in doubt that we will do it. We will do it today, we will do it tomorrow, we will do it ever, as far as the entity Nigeria remains. We will not shake from our responsibility and we will discharge it with utmost commitment, with utmost loyalty, with utmost patriotism. Nigeria has been in existence and the constitution requires that this country is indissoluble, is indivisible, and we all must, as a matter of duty and uh, 
patriotic uh, zeal, support it. We are calling on all Nigerians, all stakeholders, all persons of goodwill and good conscience to disregard the threat of revolution tomorrow and ever and support the, the state to support Nigerians and people should go about their normal businesses. We want to reiterate that come tomorrow and in fact beyond tomorrow that there won't be anything like a revolution and we we'll work with all stakeholders you know to ensure that peace is maintained in every corner of Nigeria. We want to also re-emphasize that the plot by some self-seeking individ individuals and groups to, you know, um, cause a breakdown of law and order, cause disaffection, disruption of social services, economic services, dislocate populations, make our children stay away from schools, make markets not to open, that will not be tolerated. That will not be condoned. That will not be, I mean, gentlemen of the press, would any of you have stayed? Would you have wondered if all these threats passed by and the DSS, for instance, did not utter a word? Could we have been alive to our responsibility? The answer is no. We also want to ask, if, for instance, we took possession of Shore, are we not expected to do that? What would have been your reaction if we didn't do that? Are we supposed to take him in? Yes. Did we act within the confines of law? Yes. Are we acting within our mandate? Yes. Are we supposed to have done what we did? Yes. So, Shore is with us so that we can do the needful. And uh, you follow it up. If there is any need to invite you again, and let you know what we are doing, we won't hesitate to do that.